What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. So guys, we left off on XRP and the major cryptocurrencies and honestly, a very good position over the weekend here. As you can see, my most recent video, which is in regards to yesterday, talks about it happening again. And this is why we're breaking out for a second time in regards to looking at XRP with, you know, kind of, uh, I guess you could call it uh, interest for from the other cryptocurrencies to potentially see the same thing. Specifically within XRP though, you can see that we had what appears to be two confirmations of bull flag formations. For those that don't know what a bull flag looks like here, I'm just gonna pull it up super quickly so you guys can get a reference. And basically a bull flag is a candlestick chart pattern in technical analysis that occurs when an asset is in, is in a strong upward trend indicating bullish sediment. These patterns form when a consolidation, another short spike, and some more consolidation follow a substantial spike in price. You can see it beautifully outlined here on B and Crypto here, where we do have some sort of flagpole originating here. Then we have the bullish flag itself, which is in a downtrend here. Volume decreases here, then volume picks back up, and we see the uptrend continuation and a breakout to the upside here. You can see it clearly outlined in my thumbnail from yesterday that there are two confirmations of this here. We had the original one that formed a couple months ago with the continuation consolidation downtrend here, a descending wedge. Then we broke bullish to the upside and continued the same pattern downtrend yet again and a bullish break to the upside so you can see how kind of history is repeating here and allowing us to make some profitable trades specifically on xrp as you can see here now what we've noticed from yesterday's video moving on to today is the fact that xrp is starting to appear to see some sort of ascending fractal which could help gauge uh, a run higher in the upside here which appears to have broken bullish which we'll talk about in a second we're also going to be looking at ethereum here which has some sort of ascending triangle typically a bearish reversal usually what comes but we'll get into the nitty-gritty in a second and then bitcoin which had a another descending wedge here broke bullish had a bull trap just here and then is consolidating yet again retesting its moving average we'll see what exactly happens with that and lastly we'll look at the s p 500 which has exploded to the upside here seeing very profitable runs over the past couple of months you can see from the beginning here if we go all the way back to october of 2022 here you can see we are up a total of 20 percent which is still incredible so much so that we have broken outside of resistance here and have actually headed to the upside to retest the price ceiling, which is quite interesting above a major downtrend here, which is very surprising or price ceiling here, which is very surprising to me, retesting some very tall resistances. So with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn up post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So as a quick refresh of the top 10 cryptos reveals that the markets are actually down, surprisingly, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can actually see a lot of these are starting off with a negative negative reversal to the downside here. But you can see in regards to the top 10 cryptos, we're at 1.13 trillion global crypto market, uh, down 1.4%. Markets have been consolidating for the most part here. And now you can see they're actually dipping a bit lower here, down 4% on Bitcoin, 1.7 on ETH. BNB is down 4.8. And we have Cardano. Only, only thing that's up is XRP up 11%, which is pretty incredible. The other cryptos have been spiraling downwards ever so slightly here. But in a healthy sense, if you ask me. Now, specifically looking at XRP here, let me just move this back. Looking at XRP specifically, we've been watching what appears to be a bull flag formation here. So we had the original you know, flag pole itself. This here is the uh, the most recent flag pole. We had the bearish correction, the downtrend here. We had the bearish correction, the downtrend here yet again. And then we had the bullish breakout on the original bull flag. And here's the second bullish breakout on the current bull flag that is forming here. Now, what's more interesting is we take it a step further. And in the original bull rally that we had with the breakout that we had here, you can see it formed consolidation here, formed a lot of consolidation here. Actually, as it was filling in this gap here, what actually what what ended up happening is we retested overbought, you can see right here, consolidated down, and then that allowed us to head up even higher here. Now we didn't we aren't seeing the same exact stuff happen today. But we do have the same retest of overbought consolidating. And unfortunately, it didn't lower us as low as we had in the previous uh, the previous time we did that. But we are still consolidating here. What's even more fascinating is jumping into the four hour, you can see the beautiful sort of, that's not what I wanted to do, the beautiful formation here. Let me pull that up. I, I think, 
Okay, no, totally cool. All right, so pulling this up right here, you can see on the four hour, the beautiful kind of ascending fractal that was forming here that we broke bullish outside of. Now, it's definitely tough. A lot of times we wanna like extend this. Is it possible to extend this? It is, and this might be something that I'm leaving on all the time. I wanna see, is this the actual breakout or is there a way to confirm a bigger movement to the upside here? And this might be actually that. However, we are still heading upwards here. Might even be able to extend this even more, which is even more incredible, just like this. So we have a much longer up trend here and maybe now there's some sort of top resistance some sort of fractal this is going to be too difficult to tell like i said before we have definitely an uptrend that is here to stay and that can be confirmed but the top resistance it's, it's just too early to tell here whether we extend it like this whether we extend it up there's not enough confirmation for us to say okay this is it so the the top resistance is kind of up for grabs here there's no confirmation just yet but the bottom support is here to stay and this is allowing us to head up even higher which is incredible to me because we're retesting overbought on a lot of the major uh charts here you can see in the daily charts we're nearing overbought, flatlining out, consolidating. And you can see this is usually a sign of correction here, but however, it's allowing us to head up even higher, retesting some big resistances at the same time as well. So who knows what's actually going to be happening the next coming days here, but ideally we're looking for a bullish outlook, but we might see some more healthy consolidation before that happens. Just like we saw in the past year, we went up to 46 cents. We fell all the way down to 41 cents within a matter of a day here. We're looking for the same kind of healthy pullback on XRP as well. Now, lucky for us, we still have an open trade and we haven't been stopped out just yet. And markets are still heading up even higher from the original buying opportunity, which was at 46 cents. You can see we're up almost 17, maybe even 16% right now here, which is a huge opportunity that we've taken advantage of, but we're still looking for a healthy correction here because we're overbought. There's a necessary pullback that is that would be healthy and necessary for the price of XRP to head up even higher here because at the rate we're going, we're going to become overbought, extremely overbought and going to dip at a very significant rate. So the goal is that we see one now form some sort of healthy pullback, and then we head up even higher. Now, obviously, we do all these trades on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. Buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits. Everything you could possibly think of is offered on BidFi, including, you can see here, the trigger, market, long, short positions, the amount of leverage, the margin, so on and so forth here. They even offer XRP, which makes them unique. They offer Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, all the blue chip cryptos, which is why I like BidFi over other exchanges, because most exchanges don't offer XRP. What's even cooler is they even have a demo account, which gives you $100,000 in Monopoly money to test your skill. So it's a great way to get familiar with the website, uh, familiar with trading, so on and so forth here. And it allows you to trade around risk-free because it is not real money. So you can get familiar with the website. If you can make successful trades, then you can consider moving on to using real crypto. But I highly recommend using a demo account to get familiar with cryptocurrency first before making any sort of real uh, life financial uh, you know, trade in that sense here. The demo account is definitely where to start. And as you can see, I've used it before and we're actually up a few profitable trades with a $400 profit on the 100K. Again, just monopoly money, but still very cool to get familiar with the platform. And the best part, the icing on the cake with BidFi is not only can you sign up for free, use the demo account risk-free here, but you can click on welcome rewards after you sign up and find a way to earn up to $2,888 completely free by filling out some of the tasks here. As you can see, I've done a few of them, but there's, you know, fill out the feedback, potentially win a $5,000 bonus, which is super cool. So make sure to check that out. Link is down in the description below. And moving forward from BidFi and XRP, looking at the other major cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Bitcoin and the S&P, you can see it's, it appears that we've broken bearish from this, falling lower here, which is quite interesting. You can see we were in some sort of uptrend here, which again, looking at the four hour, none of this can be said for sure with, with certainty. Obviously, the weekly and the daily charts make more sense here, but we've been trying to find some sort of uptrend that would stick here and when we had it like this there was only two confirmations only one and two which is not enough to say that this is a support to use so obviously we have to constantly tweak this until we find a good decent support which is continuing to happen here as you can see we are still forming some sort of ascending fractal here some ascending wedge so we'll see if that pans out to be anything but otherwise we are being withheld and and holding support on the daily charts and the weekly uh and the four hour charts here so it's really up for grabs but we are heading higher, which is a good sign because we kind of expected this to happen after we had the beautiful kind of flagpole, the correction to the downside, and then the rally to the upside. Once we confirm breaking out of this, we kind of expected to see the markets head up. And that's kind of what we're seeing now. Same thing with Bitcoin. Not so much though. You can see we're having more of a problem. There's definitely some sort of sideways channel. We're having a bit of difficulty breaking through, but ideally 
the goal is to head up even higher. We'll see when that happens, though. But that's that's really the outlook here. But things might change when we look at the S&P. It's very possible the S&P could head up even higher or it's going to dump. And it could dump very quickly, creating another higher low pattern, which is not uncommon in this market. You can see the higher lows here. This would not be uncommon at all. It would actually be more helpful than uh, than a problem or a nuisance here, because you can see we had the original, the second, the third higher low, and then we kind of flatlined out a little bit. But because we went even higher, if we do decide to dip lower here and we go down only this low, which would send us into near oversold, this could create a new bottom and allow us to pump up even higher, which is perfect. This would continue the pattern here. So with that healthy pullback, this could indeed pull things like Bitcoin and Ethereum down with it, sending us to its bottom support before breaking up even even higher. So definitely lots of things to go around. But with all that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.